and on behalf of our Board of Education and all of our partner organizations. Just feet away from students changing classes here at Coronado Middle School, there was a press conference this morning with administrators and politicians wearing red ribbons, reminding everyone to say no to drugs. The drug market and everything that's out there that is a danger to our children is fluid. It's changing by the minute. Red Ribbon Week officially started in 1988 after members of a Mexican drug cartel tortured and murdered a DEA agent from Calexico, Enrique Kiki Camarena. Today, students in Coronado are aware of the legacy and the reality of illegal drug use. When it's so accessible these days, there, I mean, it's almost impossible for there not to be at least one person who lives in Coronado who's a student who's experimenting with something like this. And even if someone survives an overdose, they may damage their physical, mental, and emotional health. I Choose My Future is the title of a new series of online videos to educate school children about the imminent danger of dying from illegal drugs. The videos are now available for classroom curriculum in schools or for families to access at home. You hear things everywhere that can really scare you, especially things with alcohol and drug abuse, the peer pressure, and people just trying to get you to do something. The San Diego County Office of Education says school-aged children are vulnerable to drug overdoses. Two years ago, a dozen teenagers in the county under 18 died from illegal drug use. Right now, the majority of drug overdose deaths across San Diego County are caused by fentanyl. In 2019, 152 people died ingesting the potent synthetic opioid. That number soared to 814 by 2021 and stayed the same in 2022. The discouraging statistics make it a challenge to try to determine what success might look like in this current war on drugs. In this case, a plateau in the number of deaths is a first step. Well, the fact that we are plateauing instead of tripling and quadrupling like we were means that something is working, that we are all doing here collaboratively fighting for our children's lives. It's just amazing this video is going out to really show more people that we need to stop this issue. I have responsibility to tell them, hey, that's not okay. You should really think about your decisions because that might not be a good thing for you to do. Students are now saying a lot more than just no to drugs. I choose my future. MG Perez, KPBS News.